Alright, hey YouTube, I got a new video recorder software, so hopefully this will work out and won't be too bad looking or anything. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to actually get Splinter Cell Blacklist working more convenient, not necessarily conveniently, but I like to say, um, more... Anyway, I'm just going to be, basically the main problem I had was, um, I would be in the middle of a match, and then, um, after about two or three games of Spies vs. Mercs, it would just crash for no reason. Uh, I have a friend who has the exact same problem, he has a different setup. Um, but we both have AMD graphics cards, but this pr might happen on NVIDIA also. So, well, my last video, I'll have a link here on the screen somewhere, was showing you how to um, be able to actually connect to the match. Because as I showed before, uh, last time we met, I couldn't even connect to a match at all. So I didn't know about this other problem. Regardless, this problem is pretty easy to fix. Um, what you'll want to do definitely first is turn on DirectX 9 from the Advanced Videos options. Oh, that's not red red here. So basically you can switch between DirectX 9 and DirectX 11. You'll have to restart the game in order to do this, but it, this will actually make it more stable. I gotta show you guys something real quick. Uh, Steam. <coughs> okay, so but before you do that, there's a few other things you can try first. First thing you want to do is disable SLI or um, what's it called for uh, Crossfire. Disable Crossfire slash SLI first, play a few games, if that doesn't fix it, and I say, um, do verify integrity of game cache. If that doesn't fix it, then make sure, just turn off a bunch of backgrounding stuff, and if that doesn't fix it, then this is a last ditch effort, because DirectX 9 doesn't have as many options. Alright, so, um, the thing I was trying to show you before is, if you go into the binary folder, you'll see that there are two programs. These are both the game. This is DirectX 11 version, it's called Blacklist GX11 game, and this one's called Blacklist Just Game. They don't even have DirectX 9. So, just from that alone, it would seem like the main one they were working on was DirectX, the DirectX 9 version. Also, I've been emailing support for the last couple days, Ubisoft support, they're not being very helpful, they keep giving me automated stuff, and they told me to update to the latest version of DirectX 9, not DirectX 11, even though DirectX 11 is a default option. So, from that and a few other things I've read, I think DirectX 9 is probably the most stable option. Here is what I had to change my settings to. I have a um, ATI 7970. So well, I, when I turn it DirectX 9, DirectX 9 eats up a lot more memory than um, the other versions do, and it's harder on your graphics card for some reason. I guess, I, I don't know why. It just might be the way they programmed it. They programmed this game. Anyway, so I left the game on Ultra, as you can see here. I can still run it pretty fast. Um, Parallax, so you can leave that on. I had to turn down filtering to 8x because my it was taking my graphics card up to like 90 some degrees when I had it on DirectX 9 and everything else. And you can leave uh, anti-aliasing on FXAA. That also gave me some really good performance. So with these settings changed, I was actually able to play three straight games with no problems so, uh, whatsoever. There was some lag, but that's not from the video settings. So um, if you're having any trouble at all, try out those tips. Do this absolutely last. You, 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 if you want to, your game will look much better if you do this last and if you can get it working. But if you're like me and for some reason the game's just not, the, this is only multiplayer though. Like I can use all these things on my default settings with DirectX 11 and it's fine in single player. But if you're having problems with multiplayer, try this out. If it works, like this video, uh, let me know. If it's not working, then you'll have to call Ubisoft support and hopefully they can help it for you. Um, this is the only thing I found that fixed it here. If this doesn't fix your problems, then I'm sorry. I don't have any other suggestions at this time. Um, post in the comments if it worked. If you have questions, you can post them there too, but I probably won't be able to answer them. Alright, so I hope you like the new video. Um, with, I made it with this new program open broadcast software. Uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.